Hey guys, welcome to vtcacademy.com and we are in this presentation we are going to discuss about disjunction. In our previous videos we have discussed about statements so here in this presentation let us learn about the connective disjunction. So a disjunction can be defined as a compound statement formed by joining two statements with the connector or and the statement p or q can be denoted by p or q. We can also define disjunction with the help of a truth table. So here we have three columns. The first two column gives the truth value for p and q and the third column gives the truth value for p or q. If both the statements p and q are true statements then the truth value for p or q would be a true statement. And if p is a true and q is false then the truth value for the disjunction p or q would be a true statement. And if p is a false and q is a true then we get the truth value for p or q as a true statement. And if both the p and q are the false statement then the truth value for p or q would come as false. Now let me explain this concept with the help of an example over here. So here we have a statement p as 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 and we have the statement q as 5 4 times is 21. Here we observe that the statement p is a true statement and q is a false as 5 4 times is 20 but given is 21. So we get the truth value for disjunction that is p or q as a true statement and if p is a statement 4 divided by 2 is equal to 1 and q is a statement 2 divided by 1 is equal to 4 then the truth value for the statement p is false as 4 divided by 2 is 2 and the truth value for the statement q would be a false as 2 divided by 1 is 2 but given is 4. So the truth value here for p or q would come as false statement. Now let us consider p is a statement 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1 and q is a statement 3 2 times is 6. So here we observe that the statement p is a false statement and the statement q is a true statement. So therefore the truth value for p or q would be a true statement. Now let us consider the statement p as 4 5 times is 20 and q statement as 4 2 times is 8. Here we observe that both the p and q statements are true statements. Hence the truth value for p or q would be a true statement. Now let us consider another example. So here we have the statement p as she is beautiful and q is a statement she is very happy. Then here we have to find the truth value for the disjunction statement p or q. Now let us draw a truth table of three columns. So the first two column gives the truth value for p and q. And the last column gives the truth value for p or q. So if both the statements p and q are true statements then we get the truth value for p or q as a true statement. And if the truth value for p is true and q is false then the truth value for p or q would be a true statement. And here p is a false statement and q is true statement. So therefore the truth value for p or q would be a true statement. And if both the statements p and q are false statements then we get the truth value for p or q also as a false statement. So this was a basic introduction on disjunction. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtcacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.